Hello, I'm Stephen Conway. And I'm Ted Carbone, and this is Sky News. The countdown for graduation is getting closer for seniors. On Friday, students celebrated by having a 100 days party held in the Roach Commons. Dueling pianos, appetizers, and beverages accompanied seniors who sang and danced until 1 a.m. Also at the event, the announcement for the senior class gift. 2017 class president Sarah Gaffney revealed the gift to be a statue of a Skyhawk placed in front of the sports complex. Over the next two months, Gaffney and the Senior Legacy Gift Committee will work to raise $10,000 from the student body to go towards the class gift. That was a great event. That was certainly amazing. Last Tuesday, Stono students flocked to Boston to make their own snow day to celebrate a New England Patriots Super Bowl victory. The parade began at 11 a.m. Despite the frigid temps, crowded subways, and busy streets, proud Skyhawks made the trip to party with Gronk, Edelman, and of course, Tom Brady. I hate to say it as a New York sports fan, but congratulations to New England Patriots on an impressive victory. Just a few days before that, on February 2nd, Stonehill's annual student leadership forum was held offering students the chance to network with alumni. W.B. Mason sponsored the event and pairs employees of the supply company with student leaders to talk about life after college. W.B. Mason Vice President and alum Richard McGee spoke at the event with over 100 students in attendance. The spring concert was announced last week at the women's basketball game, and it looks like Dram and Charlie XCX will be making their way to Stonehill College. The concert will take place on March 31st in the sports complex and will feature the British pop star and American rap artist. In a statement to the Stonehill Summit, Jenna Ragone, chair of the Concert Coffeehouse Subcommittee, said Charlie XCX has fun songs and Dram is on his way to becoming a very successful rap artist. Both have awesome stage presence that I think will bring an awesome show for our spring concert. And of course, Charlie XCX is going to be performing after the after party, which is a great song. But <laughs> before we get to the party, we got to get our sports teams into action and actually Absolutely. win a contest, win a championship. George sure. Gomes and Laura O'Malley, they're in with sports, and we're going to update you right now with them, guys. Thanks, guys. This past Wednesday, the men's basketball team took on St. Anselm Hawks in a back-and-forth battle for the ages. This physical game came down to the wire when the Skyhawks, with the Skyhawks losing 85-84. to St. A's sophomore Tim Guires had a game high of 37 points with 26 in the second half. For the Skyhawks, senior Ryan Logan scored a season high 29 points to go along with 8 rebounds and 2 assists. Junior KJ Lee chipped in with 16 points, 7 boards, and 5 assists. Stonehill now drops into a tie for the fifth and final spot in next week's Any 10 tournament from the Northeast Division with rival Bentley. The men's basketball team will look to bounce back this Saturday at Southern New Hampshire. This past Wednesday, the girls' basketball team played against St. Anselm College as well. The Hawks were up by eight at halftime and kept the lead throughout the rest of the game. St. A's won the game 63-53 against Stonehill. Junior Sam Hyslip finished the game with 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists. Sophomore Meiti Diabate posted her third career double-double with 12 points and a career high of 14 rebounds. Even though they lost, Stonehill remains in a tie for the fifth and final Northeast Division spot in next week's NE10 tournament. On Saturday, the men's ice hockey team dominated Southern New Hampshire with an 8-0 victory. Before the win, Stonehill honored its three seniors, Evan Jacks, Dylan Podbelski, and Brian Higgins for their contributions to Stonehill men's ice hockey program. Jax tallied three points with one goal and two assists. There were many others involved in this high-scoring game, including Tommy Newton, Jack Hall, Connor Collier, and Connor Jewett. Stonehill will face the number two seeded St. Michael's College in an NE10 semifinals on Saturday, February 18th. Stonehill is offering the opportunity for alumni benefactors and parents of the college to join the Red Sox in Florida this March during spring break. Tickets are $75 and you get the chance to watch the Red Sox play at JetBlue Park on Friday, March 10th against the Baltimore Orioles. Contact Christine DaCosta, Administrative Assistant in the Stonehill Advancement Division, for more information. Now back to Ted and Steve in the studio. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys, for that update. Now that just wraps up another edition of Sky News. For Ted Carbone, I'm Stephen Conway. Please be sure to pick up a copy of the Stonehill Summit or visit us online for the latest and most up-to-date information about Stonehill College. Until next time from Studio 208B. Take care, guys. I can play, yeah. Cause after the after